This is Tiffany. She's a friend of mine and she owns a dessert shop in Taipei City. In fact, you can say Tiffany is a friend of RTI because she and her shop have been featured on Andrew Ryan's program. Tiffany's shop specializes in shaved ice and boy, they are delicious. That's just my opinion though and no, this hashtag won't be dedicated to endorsing her desserts even though once again, they are delicious. Tiffany shared a heartwarming story that popped up on my social media feed that I just had to share. The story goes like this. Tiffany and her sister, who also owns a dessert shop, collaborated and donated 100 desserts to medical workers at Far Eastern Memorial Hospital in New Taipei City last Friday. Four days later, on Tuesday, Tiffany said a customer passing by her shop beckoned one of the shopkeepers outside. Just as a reminder, restaurants all over Taiwan are not allowed to have dine-in customers. Restaurants can only offer delivery or takeout. That's why the customer didn't go inside her store. When Tiffany's employee stepped outside, the customer handed her a wad of cash and told them to use it to buy desserts for more frontline pandemic personnel. Tiffany was moved by this turn of events, so much so that she included three crying emojis. She also threw in a slew of hashtags like hashtag Taiwan is full of warmth, hashtag thank you to this anonymous customer, hashtag another round for frontline medical workers, hashtag keep it up Taiwan, hashtag keep it up medical workers, and hashtag keep the kindness going. I followed up with Tiffany in a text interview. She's a little camera shy. Apparently, the anonymous customer told Tiffany's shop that it could use the money to give desserts to any frontline pandemic workers like firefighters. It didn't necessarily have to go to medical workers. She said that customer donated enough to buy at least 200 desserts. Tiffany said what moved her the most was the customer's willingness to entrust their money to her store to carry out the task. She said that the food and beverage industry is taking a big hit during this pandemic, with her store seeing a 50-60% to 60 drop in sales. So I think it says a lot that Tiffany is willing to donate desserts to medical staff at a time when her shop is struggling. Tiffany said she hopes that her desserts can bring a little joy to busy medical workers. And I think that goes back to her hashtag, keep the kindness going. There's an understanding that even though her shop is struggling, medical workers on the front line are having a harder time fighting COVID. And during a time when people are out here arguing about vaccinations, prevention efforts, pandemic alerts, stay at home orders, mutations, cluster infections, infection hotspots, rapid tests, PCR tests, it's comforting to hear about nice people out here doing nice things. And that's the exact kind of energy that makes me think, we're gonna be okay.